Hey guys, welcome to a Thursday hobby tip. Uh, these tips are going to be all over the place, so I'm going to tell you guys that right now. Uh, some of them will be uh, quick tips, some of them will be painting tips, some of them will be building tips. Uh, last week I showed you guys the storage tip, so I just want to kind of give you an idea of what to expect on uh, Thursdays. Uh, if you have our schedule, uh, and I will be posting a, a PDF copy of the schedule on the uh, Patreon page, so if you are a patron, you can just download that, and you can see what's coming up uh, every day of the week. Uh, I may also do a poll and just ask the patrons if they want the links to the videos before they they air, because a lot of these are scheduled, but I don't know. I kind of don't like doing that because... You know, it kind of takes away from everybody enjoying the video at the same time. But uh, for today, the hobby tip is this. So one of the things that happens sometimes when you have a lot of projects going or you have a big project that has a lot of steps is you have to kind of decide what to do next. And you can go back and forth, back and forth. So, for example, if you're building a terrain board, you may be asking yourself, OK, should I? Should I start putting together the the uh, the little scenic pieces, the accessories? Should I work on the buildings? Should I work on uh, putting on the landscaping or terrain? Should I paint pieces or whatever? And you just can have a lot of steps. Other times you may have a lot of different projects. You know, should I start building this vehicle? Should I base these figures up and prime them and so forth? So. What came to me the other day was something I've seen on probably two different channels uh, where one guy basically had a bag and he put suggestions of what he would build each week from his viewers in a bag and then he would pull it out. And, you know, that didn't really appeal to me uh, because basically people would suggest just random stuff and he'd, he'd build it. And you can wind up with a very random collection of things. So that didn't appeal to me. Uh, then another one, I think it was Goobertown used to do a bag where he'd pull out a miniature he was going to paint that week. And then he'd pull out some colors to paint it. That didn't really appeal to me either. Because again, you're just painting random miniatures that you may not need or may not use for anything. And you're painting them random colors. And I just don't see the point. I mean, I just, other than the novelty of it, I don't see the point. But what did appeal to me was the idea of taking things you're going to do, you need to do them anyway, you put them in the back, and so you get home from work, and say you got 10 minutes, you pull one out. Now, you could do different bags. So say for this bag, I might put on here, you know, 10 minutes. So in my 10-minute bag, I would be pulling out things that I could get done in 10 minutes. If it's something that's gonna take two hours, you put two hours on there. So let's just say, let's just say this is, I'm gonna say this is a 30 minute bag because I kind of know what I have in here, okay? So you could have one bag that says 30 minutes, you could have another bag that says an hour, 10 minutes. Heck, you could have a bag that says five minutes, right? It's something you know you can do in five minutes. And you just, Throughout the day, or like what I did was, you know, the other night I was laying in my bed and I couldn't get to sleep. So I just started writing down things on pieces of paper. And then I tore the paper up and I put it in the back. And so you see there's the paper there. And there's like, I guess there's probably 10 or 12 in here. But I threw them all in the bag. And I tried to keep it so that I knew it would be stuff that would kind of take the same amount of time. Even though I hadn't thought of doing different bags. But if you want to do that, so you could have a one hour bag, a weekend bag, right? You pull out something as you get toward the weekend. What should I work on this weekend? And again, the ideal is not, not to put random stuff in here. The ideal is to put things in here that you were going to do or you need to do anyway. So for this example, I'm going to pull something out and kind of show you guys uh, you know, kind of some of the projects I have coming up and some of the things that I, I put in here to take care of. So we pull this out. 
and it says build jungle gardens so now everybody if you guys know i've been working on an african crawl and one of the things i need for the crawl are to build some gardens uh of crops because they're going to have their own crops in their crawl so that is what this says now i've actually pulled out something earlier today before i filmed uh working on the same jungle thing and i already did that and it actually worked out real great i pulled it out and i said oh well let's just get it done and that was basically adding some flock or some material to my board so now this is telling me start working on the gardens well it's about you know midnight and i'm still up and i'm not going to start on these gardens tonight so i'm going to throw that back in there i'm trying to find something i can do in maybe 10 15 minutes okay so let's pull out something else now i did not organize these by time like i said you could do that start building shipping container tankers so this is interesting because i want to build a, a shipping tanker for one of my black ops scenarios, they're going to be on a, a, a tanker ship. Sort of like, uh, what was that show, Captain Smith, that had Tom Hanks in it? And this is the saying, this is telling me to maybe start working on that. And I kind of have some ideas how I'm going to do that. Uh, so I may leave this out because I may start trying to go around and see what materials I have or what I need to work on that. But that gives you guys the idea. I mean, it's just a tip. You don't have to do it. I mean, if you're the type of person where you keep a schedule or you, you know, when, when purchases come in, you get right in on them, then, you know, it might not work for you. But uh, if, on the other hand, you do have a lot of stuff going on and sometimes you do find yourself uh, vacillating between one thing or another trying to make up your mind, you know, give it a try. Take care. God bless. Please like, please subscribe. And, uh, you know, if you can support the channel, please support us. Take care. Mm -hmm.